A new study out of the UK suggests delaying the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine can result in a stronger antibody response. Researchers at the University of Birmingham found antibodies were three and a half times higher when the second dose was given 12 weeks after the first, as opposed to the recommended three week interval. You'll remember that late last year, the UK decided to delay second doses in order to get more people their first shot more quickly. For more on these findings, we're joined now by Dr. Peter Chin Hong, infectious disease specialist at UCSF. Always good to have you on here. Uh, you know, I, I'm wondering what you what your takeaway is from this study here. Do, do you think this potentially signals anything about how long uh, the protection lasts with the Pfizer vaccine? Well, Alex, it seems to be optimistic from the study that at least the participants uh, continue to have good antibody responses. I feel that I would still be nervous about going outside of the trial data because, of course, in this small study in the UK, it was only about 175 people as opposed to 40,000 in the clinical trials. And they were older people, so they were above 80 to as high, you know, to as old as 99 years old. So, but it, what it means to me is that, wow, you know, if we delay 12 weeks because uh, somebody couldn't get their vaccine in time, it's going to be really fine. And that's what I take away from the study, rather than saying we need to pivot and change uh, the interval. Yeah, it, you, don't, you don't imagine that we adjust the dosing regimen, for, for example, here in the U.S. as a result of this kind of data. I mean, at, th at this point, sometimes it's hard enough to get people to come back for that uh, second shot when it's three weeks later. You, you know, it's hard to imagine getting someone to come back three months later. Yes, and definitely if people, for whatever reason, felt nervous the second time, but then they changed their mind, it's definitely going to be okay to get that within that 12-week period or three-month period and potentially even uh, further beyond that. But like you said, Alex, one of the interesting things about the study is, could it mean that giving a dose later on will allow you to keep your antibodies up for a little bit longer? So these people are gonna be followed and that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, and you point out that the, the folks who were followed as a part of this study, they were all much older. They were all over the age of 80 uh, folks there in the UK. What, what additional information do you think we, we need to gather? What additional research needs to be done to, to really understand how, how long the, the protection lasts and, and how long the antibodies uh, will last in a person who's been vaccinated? At the end of the day, Alex, the most important thing is that it prevents uh, people from getting sick and getting uh into the ICU and dying. Um, and if we can make that correlation, uh, it will be amazing. And of course, a high antibody level suggests that that would happen. Uh, in so far as how long it lasts, the people, the 40,000 people in the original trial are continue to be followed. We already have six month data, but you'll expect like 12 month data and 18 month data, sure. and they'll be ahead of us by about 12 months. So we will get information from that group of amazing volunteers before we have to pivot and change uh, or give a booster in the general population. All right, uh, as long as I have you, let me get your, your quick thoughts here on, on where we are in California. We're, we're in a pretty good spot. We just uh, showed the numbers, the positivity rate under 1% and nearly 50% of all eligible people now are fully vaccinated. Do, do you agree with state health officials about keeping the, the indoor mask mandate in place now for another month? Uh, that's a tough question because I think the science is clear that it's definitely safe in California for vaccinated folks uh, to do as the CDC says. But I think the reason why the public health leaders and our political leaders went for this delayed approach was for, I think, three main reasons. The first reason is that it gives people some time to acclimate. I think just as there were people who were in the, let's take off the mask and throw it in the air camp, there were also people who felt a little bit nervous the second reason I think is to give business owners some strategy and guidance because they didn't want to be the vaccine police. And the third is really to probably encourage some folks on the fringes to hopefully get vaccinated. Yeah. But it is clear, as you point out, that it's safe for us right now. Yeah, maybe you can get those vaccination numbers up, uh, up even more by the time you, you lift the indoor mandate. All right, appreciate your thoughts. Dr. Peter Chin Hong, infectious disease specialist at UCSF. Always great to have you on.